What's up, Hillbillies? Today, we have an awesome surprise for you. We are getting a sneak peek at the brand new facility here, Springfield, Missouri, at 4x4 Brewing Company. With that, we're here, actually, in uh, Nixon, Missouri is the address. It's in between Nixon and Ozark, uh, technically in the city of Fremont Hills, which is a golf course community. We selected this location uh, mainly because, first of all, it was far enough south from our current location that we're keeping that we wouldn't cannibalize our customers and, and basically the people that are going there are going there and the people that are coming here are new customers ideally. We're one mile uh, west of Highway 65 okay. off of CC. CC is a major uh, road that goes between Ozark and Nixa right now. So there, I mean, traffic count on this thing is incredible. It's ridiculous. And so that, that'll help as well, basically. So Chris is gonna sneak us in the back end here. We're, yeah, we're rolling through the back door. So this is the production side slash brewery. Um, the brew house will be this entire wall right here. It's a three vessel, 20 barrel brew house um, that we've gotten from local company, Mueller. Okay. Um, and so we'll have fermenters all down this row and then we'll have a canning line down the other, other row there of the drain extending out to the right. Um, and then on that back wall, we'll have stuff like keg washers and tools and all that type of stuff that it takes to brew. Our mill room is actually right here. The mill will be in there. So we're changing the old location to a different type of concept. Um, it's gonna be called the Unhinged Project by 4x4. The Unhinged Project. Yeah, and so there we're, we have been filling a lot of barrels right now and this brewing. This is the secret. Yeah. If you guys don't know about it yet. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs> you wanna yeah, know so more. we have been brewing a lot of one-off beers that we've been putting in barrels to age, and that is kind of the direction we're going. It'll be similar to maybe like a, So it's gonna be like specialty small batch yes, stuff. Yes, yes. And then yes. here's gonna be your production show yep. sh you know, show winners yep and we'll have we'll have one offs here as well you know specialty batches here as well but just not as much as that location up there will be focused on and so the basically the goal is to keep people interested in going to both locations up here actually is our offices we've never had offices my office has been the end of a bar for five years um, not a bad office not a bad office yep readily available beer of course but uh, now we'll actually have offices and that's what that is up there. One of the nicest aspects of our offices, first of all, we actually get a desk to work at, which is handy. That's nice. Um, but then also the deck. What we are thinking actually is maybe we will do some private functions up here, just like super private functions where we okay. invite people up to hang out with us and have a beer or try something new. That we We'll be going on tap and whatnot, um, but yeah, we get a we actually have a a deck outside of our offices to. We have an awesome view. Yeah, view's good. The windows are at the right height to where if you're driving by, especially at night, you'll be able to look in and kind of see stainless tanks and what's going so on you'll, and you whatnot. So you can see it from mm -hmm. the road. It'll actually it's not just a boring old building. Right. Yeah. You guys have. They'll be able to there. see. They can see, they can't see important stuff like, so they might steal, but they can see right. cool stuff in yep. the road. Yep, yep. This is one of the best attributes of this building okay. and it is a cooler. This is, <laughs> this is a pretty good sized beer cooler. So yeah, you can get one of these in out of Columbia, I think is Missouri is where we got it. There'll be hops uh, stored over here because we store our hops cool. Um, and so we'll have basically, and, and, and that's basically it. This is just beer storage. And then we have uh, just a bathroom right here for the you know, back of the house guys. And we actually put a shower in it because there's a lot of times you have certain situations where you get exploded all over with yeast or hops or beer or whatever. And so it's be handy to have a shower nice just to in have case that. you have a function to go to afterwards or you're doing an event, like say I get beer sprayed all over me for some reason. Well, if I've got an event to go to afterwards, now we actually have a facility where I can have change into clothes. And, uh, and then that's just storage. So nothing spectacular there. Basically what we have here is a uh, lab that we have built. Quality and consistency of the product that we're serving on tap and in cans out the door on the shelves. That is basically the whole goal behind the lab is to make sure that what is going out this door is what it should be and that it is no different batch to batch to batch um, there are 
Uh, we'll be doing a lot of stuff at this location where we take yeast on small scale and we prop it up. So we have to be able to analyze that yeast and that yeast cell count to see what levels it's at before we pitch it into our fermenter with the beer so that it can appropriately ferment. Cool. Yeah, so tons of stuff. We'll, we'll have a lot of equipment in here to make sure that we are doing everything properly, but then also save us some money from having to buy an enormous amount of yeast for these fermenters and we can just prop it up. We can so propagate it. So you grow it in here uh -huh. and then from, well, a, from a small cell count, small package. Yep, keeps, yeah, just keep testing it over and over and over. We'll have a separate yeast brink out here that will basically grow it in, but testing it every day and making sure that we're getting to that appropriate cell count that That's the beer awesome. needs. Yep, so there's our serving tank. It looks like spooky Thomas the train engine. <laughs> right, so we have six of these. Uh, they're 1,500 liters a piece. This is different from a bright tank in the fact that you're not finishing the beer in here. The product that goes in here is finished product to serve. So basically you will be, so this is for our flagship beers. Okay. Right, so we. This is your OG Hef. This is the OG Hef, this is Parkside Pineapple, the Hardwood Pilsner, the ones that we keep on tap all, all the time. time. That will, go right there. they will go over in that little area right there, the serving tank room. They will go inside the serving tank. Therefore, we're not having to keg off as much product and store kegs. And basically what it is, is it's actually a bag that you pump it into. And as you pump it, the bag expands. And then there's CO2 that compresses that bag back down to push the product out of it. So even from a cleaning standpoint, all you're doing is taking out a bag and putting it in a bag. So it's it's basically 12, I mean, so per half barrel, you're spending uh, to fill appropriately a half barrel you're spending about i don't know two minutes three minutes each half well, barrel. I mean, but cleaning sanitizing but all then cleaning stuff. sanitizing yeah you got a keg washer you have to put it on the keg washer making sure it's clean we're, we're talking hours of saved saved labor just by doing that that's huge yeah it is huge plus it saves us on kegs kegs cost money yeah i mean they're, you not, be, they're not free if you're kegging <laughs> you want to be sending it somewhere else for sale absolutely oh yeah you don't yeah. want to be using it for yourself Correct. So anyways, you're looking at the main bar. So this is the other cooler that we were talking about. Overall, this is this is the cooler. So you got taps, you got you got 22 tap handles right here. Okay. And you have 22 tap handles right here. This is the private event space. Yeah, private bar. So if you have an event to do um, or a business meeting or something like that, we've created this space so that um, we can utilize this or more intimate feel to whatever it is that they're wanting to do. Oh, oh right cool. by the bathrooms. Yeah, nice, looks like they're tiling. Sweet. So yeah, we'll have a merchandise wall and a cooler over here uh, so people can purchase merchandise uh, or beer to go from our cooler. It's a reach in cooler. Reach in, stag yeah. it, pay. And then roll. these two garage doors will open up to the west side and we're gonna turf a lot of this so that it'll turn into mud if we don't turf it. So we're gonna turf a lot of it. And then if you come out back here, we have a patio, pretty good sized patio. This is gonna be space that you, we can hang out and utilize. And then over there you'll have outdoor fire pits that people will be able to hang out in. Uh, put some Adirondack chairs in there and whatnot and just chill out. We've put a lot of thought into the design aspect of things to mingle in with the $600,000 houses that are behind us. That's, we've done everything we could to, to make it look like it fits. We also own all of that. So what we're doing is we're, we're actually utilizing a lot of it for green space. So the purpose of this is come here, enjoy, hang out. Yep. Grab a beer if you need to. Yep. And I guess if they're out here, they don't count against your occupancy on the inside. Uh, yeah, that's true, yeah. But yeah, there'll be pickleball courts, bocce ball courts, cornhole, the Frisbee golf baskets, so okay. that people can kind of have a beer and toss into a, if they Frisbee golf, which I don't do, I don't know much about it, but apparently you toss a Frisbee into a basket. It'll be a destination. It's not just a brewery. It, it's a destination. This is the front door. Ta-da! But it looks really good on the, wow. like, it looks really good on the front of the building. Anything else you want to tell the viewers prior to? Uh... Can't wait. Can't wait to see everybody. We're excited to get this done and we're excited to get open and uh, start uh, seeing everybody's faces come through the door. Awesome. Well, yeah. thanks for letting us have yes. a tour. Yep. Thank you. And uh, guys, remember to like, subscribe. Make sure you come here to 4x4 Brewing if you're in the area. And it's past January of 2024. 
Yeah. You should be able to come grab yourself a beer and hang out. Absolutely. Guys, we'll see you next time. We're gonna go drink a beer.